Hi everybody, um, I just want to introduce myself. So my name is Bailey and I am going to be teaching you about gardens. So welcome to the Garden Club. Um, I'm going to start off by saying that we're going to learn a little bit about what grows in our garden and what lives around each of the different gardens. So every day we're going to start off with collecting our supplies. So I'll start off by each video kind of talking about what we're going to be doing that day and then I'll put the supply list here. So all of the items that you need, I'm just going to put up here and you can pause the video and then grab those things for yourself. So today we're going to be making our very own little greenhouses and planting our seeds. So sometimes seeds can take a while to grow, so they're not always going to show up overnight, but we're going to start off with a couple different things today. So this is part of our program is looking through your recycling. So looking through different items that you can find to turn into greenhouses. Now everybody's gonna have the same thing at home, but these are a couple different examples of things that uh, would make a greenhouse. So I have these containers. As you can see, there's a top and a bottom and it kind of closes like this. Um, there's this size. I have one that's a little bit bigger. Cookies came in this one. Um, and then I have a one that's long and skinny. So lots of different things come into these little packages. Um, so yours doesn't exactly have to look like this. All we're looking for is plastic that's going to kind of help create our little greenhouse. So a greenhouse is basically a little housing around our plants that are gonna help keep them moist and keep them warm. So this plastic around is gonna protect the tiny little plants when they first sprout. Um, I'm gonna make a couple different greenhouses and show you guys today. And then I'm gonna put in a clip right here and zoom and fast forward to a different greenhouse. Okay, here we are. So here's the little egg carton, it's on the bottom of this. I cut the top of this little plastic container on. This little greenhouse will make it warmer in there and it will keep the moisture in. So if in case I forget to water it, it'll be just fine. Now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna use for our seed starters today. I'm using an egg carton and we're gonna cut the bottom part of the egg carton off, ask if you need help. And we're gonna start each of our seeds in these pods. If you don't have an egg carton, you don't have to worry because anything that is a small little container that you can put dirt in is going to work just fine. And is at least egg carton deep so that the roots have somewhere to go. So you can get whatever kind of container you want and we'll be planting in all three of these containers today and we'll be putting our seeds in. Okay. Okay, so moving on to seeds. So I'm just gonna show you a couple different types of seeds because they come in all shapes and sizes. So this is a zucchini. Now, a lot of my seeds, I have to say, they're all what I like to pick different ones. Ones that you don't normally get to see in the grocery store. So I don't usually see yellow zucchini. Sometimes you do um, in the grocery store. So I picked up these yellow zucchini seeds, or yellow zucchinis and you can see how big the seed is. You know, it's a pretty big seed. The plants grow really fast and really big and then they grow these nice zucchinis. Now go back to the cucumelon, the little cucumber that tastes like a lime, which is very weird. It's got a tiny little seed. It looks quite different than our zucchini seed. Um, and then we have our Little cherry tomatoes. These guys take 45 to 55 days to make a tomato. So it takes a really long time for some of these things to sprout. And then the little tomato seed, which many of you have seen a tomato seed, it comes inside the fruit. And then the last one we're gonna go look at is an asturcum. So this type of flower, uh, its seed is quite big, as you can see. And it's gone. I lost it. So 
it's a very big seed. And this is actually what I'm going to be planting today is this nasturtiums because I've planted all my veggies. So I'm going to move on to flowers. Okay, so we're going to start by preparing our little box. So I'm going to use my egg carton because that's the only thing that needs to be preparing. And then I'm gonna see if this will fit into this. See if this works. So, open this up. And hopefully, it doesn't fit. Okay, plan two. So this is pretty much the same size. So I'm gonna just cut off one of the little egg curtain rows and then use those as a separate planter. So. Ooh. This is kind of tricky to cut. So if you need help, you can always ask an adult. Now I have my little planters and then this side's kind of open. So I won't be able to put as much dirt on, on this side, but my little greenhouse should be able to close. So this is actually the perfect greenhouse. There's holes in the top so air can get to the plants and it kind of swings open just like that. And there's plastic on the bottom so you don't get water everywhere. Um, they're not always going to fit as nice as this. So, you know, with your little other containers, even these small ones, sometimes you're just going to have to figure out how they fit in these different containers. Okay, we are going to go outside to get the dirt because I think if I brought the dirt in the house, it would make a big mess. So I'm going to go fill my little containers up with dirt outside and then I will be back. Now, this is where I recommend maybe that you do this project outside or somewhere where you can easily clean up because it's a little bit messy. So here I have my dirt, my potting soil, and my containers. See, each one of them is now a little planter. So it does not matter what you plant your plant in, there's three things a plant needs to grow. Soil, dirt, something for the plant to grow in. Water, something for the plant to drink. And the last thing that they need is sunlight. So plants don't actually eat. They photosynthesize, so they take the sunlight and they turn it into energy and they turn it into glucose. So they turn it into sugar. So plants are really cool because they breathe in carbon dioxide, which is what we breathe out and they make oxygen. And so they breathe just like people do. Um, and you can figure out how a plant breathes or you can see how a plant breathes by if you take a leaf off of something that's alive and you put it in a container with water. So you get a glass, you put the leaf in the water, you can actually see the little bubbles all around the leaf. And that is the plant breathing. So they need soil to grow in, they need sunshine to eat, and they need water to drink because everything needs water. So we have our soil. We're gonna put our little seeds in our soil and then we are going to water them and then we are gonna put them in a sunny window. So on the back of your seed packet, if you bought one at the store, if you didn't, you got them from us, they might be in a little bit of a different envelope. Um, they're gonna say how far to plant them on the back and how long it takes for them to sprout. It should be in a soil from one to two inches. 
So this one is about an inch. This one I would say is about one to two inches. So maybe we'll put them in here. So this is what you can do. You can take your soil and you can stick your finger in and make a hole. And you can push almost all the way to the bottom. So you're gonna see that there, maybe we won't see. You can't really tell that there's a hole. We might have to switch the camera angle for this. We're gonna make a little hole in our container and we're not gonna make it too deep. So we're gonna make sure that the hole is deep and we can still see soil in our bottom of our hole. We haven't gone all the way down. And we're gonna take a seed from our pack and we are gonna plonk it right in the center. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like. And there is our seed. So you can tell that there's a little bit of a hole. It goes like almost all the way down. And we're gonna just make sure we gently cover the seed with the soil. Give it a little pat. Make sure that it's nice and covered. And moving on to the next one. Now, if you have a couple different types of seeds, this is where I'd recommend that you keep track with a piece of paper or you can make your very own markers using popsicle sticks. So we can write on the popsicle stick what kind of seed it is and keep track. If you don't have a popsicle stick, you can always use a little piece of paper or straw, get creative, but just make sure you keep track of them because when you have so many of them going, sometimes it's really hard. So whatever, so we have an egg carton, we have a little Pringles container, we have a little pot, you could also use a water bottle and cut off the middle of the water bottle and then plant it in the bottom. You can use whatever kind of container you want. And even with these ones, these little plastic containers, the ones that don't have holes in the bottom, you can even fill these guys up right up with soil at the bottom and you don't have to have an egg carton and you don't have to have these. You can just put them right in there and then you have your little top of your greenhouse and everything's good. So fill all the way up with soil and then we can just plant them just like that. Um, so it doesn't matter what kind of little container, sometimes it just makes it easier to put them in the garden after. So I'm gonna finish planting the rest of my little seeds here and I will get back to you after I'm done and I will show you some of my little sprouts in my garden. So with this container, now to make my little greenhouse, I'm just going to cut it. So here's the bottom. Here's our egg carton. And now here's the top. And I'm going to give this a nice little water and I am going to go put it in a sunny spot. And I made it so that all of these little guys could be watered and I wouldn't make a big mess. But I'm gonna show you how I started my garden this year. Um, and I'm gonna show you some of the little plants that I started about two weeks ago and see how they look today. So let's go check it out. What I actually did, and we're gonna talk about this later on, is I had leftover garlic and I had left it on the counter a little bit too long and it got these big sprouts off. So I actually planted them in my little garden here. So, ouch, knock my noggin. So this is my greenhouse. So I have all of these little different plants. And then I have a chart on the wall that says how long my plants take and basically which ones are which. So this is the second one. So it shows me. So a tiny Tim Tomatoes, Swiss chard, mortgage lifters, that's a tomato type, 
very weird name. Pak choy, yellow pear tomatoes, and gold beets. So that's this one. Now you can tell where I planted maybe a couple too many seeds, but you can see like the little tomato plants, they have, they're almost hairy. It's very strange. So I, these two rows are tomatoes and these are Swiss chard. So they kind of look like celery, um, but there are lots of different colors, but you have to cook them because sometimes they're too tough. Moving on, we have some more tomatoes and you can see that they're fuzzy and furry and very interesting. You can also tell where I have by accident let my little bok choy, pak choy take over. So they have grown like crazy. They sprouted so fast. Sorry, that's the dishwasher going in the background. It is super noisy. And we're gonna look at the rest of our ones. I can't remember. This is why you write it out, guys. Um, the very back, we've got beets and tomatoes. So tomatoes again, you can see fuzzy little stalks. Tomatoes are like that. And then we've got our gold beets. So you can see this golden color, this nice yellow. So. That's what's planted in my garden right now. They've been going for just over two weeks um, and they're just hanging out in my kitchen. So remember when I was showing you the zucchinis? Well, I planted these ones two weeks ago and you can tell that they are ginormous. Like, look at that, that's the size of my hand. Two weeks it grew that tall. Can you imagine if people grew that tall? So this is something that you need to know about seeds. Sometimes, not all seeds grow. So when I planted these, I put a seed in each little pod. And unfortunately this guy didn't sprout. But I've got so many other great big ones. So these are gonna be my zucchinis. And you just see. And then I have them right next to this window. And then, I don't know if you guys remember those weird little cucamelons, but that's where what these guys are. So they're the little tiny cucumbers that look like watermelons, that taste like limes. And I bought them for myself as an experiment to see whether or not I could grow them. But I've heard they're very fussy, so wish me all the best of luck. So they are they were planted at the same time. And you can tell that certain plants definitely grow at different times. So I put more than one seed in some of these ones because I was told they were fussy. Um, and this pot, none of the seeds grew. This one, one, two, 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 and a one. But you can definitely see plants grow fast. Look at how big that plant is. Like, that is crazy. And this one is cool. So when this one popped open, this is the last one to grow. You can tell he's a little bit shorter than the rest of them. It burst out of this seed pod. So this was just kind of see that it's open. It was just on the edge of the leaf, just like that. Cause that is where it came out of, was this little seed pod. So there's some gunk on there, but yeah. Nice big plants. Okay, perfect. Okay, and this is the last of my garden. And can anybody take a guess at what I've planted here? I think some of them will give you a better hint. So look at that leaf. What does that leaf look like? A mini, what does it look like? It's a mini lettuce. So there's all these little different lettuce guys you can tell some of them are cool so the first two leaves now i'm going to put in a piece of trivia are called cotyledons and they look different than the next leaves which is so cool so these two leaves are going to be the lettuce and they look different same thing with these guys so you can tell where they start to change first two leaves 
They're very smooth, they're circular, and this guy has some texture on it, this little leaf. So, very cool. That life leaf, look at, same thing. Little heart-shaped leaves, no, no bumps, and then the third leaf looks like lettuce. So, that's cool. There's quite a few different lettuce varieties in here. So, this guy, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna scooch over here, and this one, wild card, it's probably a beet that accidentally ended up in here. I'm not gonna lie, normally I'm pretty messy when I plant. And we're gonna check in a couple days. There's the window, so it's nice and bright. You gonna check every once in a while to see if any of these ones pop up and see if they look like the rest of my garden, okay? If you guys have any questions or you need any help or any supplies, just feel free to ask an adult to help you cut things. Uh, make sure you don't make a mess with the dirt in the house. I'm sure that you will uh, need to be careful about that kind of thing and just check on your plants every couple of days to see whether or not they've sprouted and just make sure to keep them um, the soil a little bit wet, but not soaking, soaking wet. Just a little bit of water goes a long way and yeah. Happy growing your plants. See you again next week.